In this video, I'd like to focus on the concept of uh, intelligibility. So, let's see what it means, shall we? Um, English has become a global language, definitely not in a geographical sense, but rather in um, uh, the term of its use. Um, nowadays, um, it is widely used in various contexts such as research, science, education, politics, so on and so forth. So um, it has become the lingua franca enabling people from all over the world to engage in the process of communicating their thoughts and ideas. But what does uh, this process of um, communicating one's thoughts and ideas um, involve? Communication is an extremely intricate process and there are so many factors involved in uh, this process. Definitely we would not focus on them, but we would mention um, one important um, factor that contributes to uh, success in communication. And namely, the speaker should be clear, um, he or she should be intelligible. So intelligibility refers to a speaker's ability to clearly communicate the message so that the listener can readily understand what is being communicated. It is a combination of um, fluency, pronunciation, and tempo. A um, learner of um, English as a foreign language should not strive to acquire a speaker-like pronunciation, a native speaker-like pronunciation, which, frankly speaking, is uh, quite unrealistic. Uh, instead, they should look for ways of increasing their intelligibility. Here are two tips to do so. The first one is uh, don't speak fast. From my experience, I've noticed that uh, less confident speakers tend to speak fast when uh, communicating in English. Probably this is due to the anxiety they feel while speaking in a foreign language. Um, unfortunately, they do not seem to understand that uh, uh, speaking fast leads to low uh, intelligibility, which in its turn leads to communication failure. So don't speak fast. Uh, another tip is to learn and apply the basic rules of speech prosody. Indeed, one should know where to put the stress in a word, in a sentence, or how to modulate the pitch of the voice in order to be successful uh, in their um, uh, communication. Um, as practice makes perfect, I'd also like to share some um, activities you could do in order to increase your intelligibility. The first one is to record your own speech. This uh, can help uh, a lot. When I assign uh, my learners to record their own speech, they would often tell me that it was quite difficult. Um, they would confess that they had to record themselves several times till they were more or less satisfied with the quality of their recording. Um, so um, even if you don't have a person you could turn in your recording to, um, it will enable you to observe uh, your own speech. However, I would recommend looking for feedback, asking for feedback, ask your teacher to provide feedback. Uh, if you have a native speaker willing to help you, then um, ask uh, him or her for feedback as well. Another tip is to target the problem sounds. Um, when um, studying English as a foreign language, um, 
you might notice that there are sounds which are not present in your mother tongue. For example, the sounds V or Th are not present in, um, in Romanian or Russian. Uh, that would mean that these sounds might cause problems. So that's why uh, learning um, how they are articulated, where they are articulated, can help you um, drill the sound, pronounce the sound correctly. Similarly, uh, there might be the case that uh, there are the same sounds in English, yet they are uh, articulated differently. The place of articulation takes place um, uh, differently or differs from your mother tongue. This is the case of the sound, for example, T in English. So targeting the problem will help you solve it. The next practice is um, listening and shadowing. What does it mean? Uh, think of your favorite song, the one you simply adore. I'm pretty sure if you hear the song, you start singing together with the singer. So this is what shadowing implies. Listening and uh, speaking at the same time. Um, the advice would be to look for speeches on the internet, uh, to listen to them carefully more than once, and then um, starting reproducing the speech together with the speaker. So this is a way of increasing your intelligibility. Finally, um, Whenever coming across a new word or phrase in English, transcribe. Look it up in the dictionary, transcribe it, and drill it. Dr um, use it in a, a utterance of your own, use it in discourse, provide context to it, but definitely know how exactly to pronounce the word. Uh, probably you have already noticed that in English, sounds and letters disagree. That is, uh, quite often the way the word is pronounced does not coincide with the way it is spelled. So that is why, um, Transcribing that word will help you increase your intelligibility. So um, one more time, do not strive to acquire a native-like pronunciation. Look for ways of increasing your intelligibility.